going to summarize what we've been speaking about and perhaps put it in a slightly different way. When I left my first main diplomatic assignment as Israel's ambassador to the United Nations, I was told by good friends in uh, the business world in New York that the main, the main goal that I will have to try and achieve is called winning the war of ideas. And I mention that to you because um, that's the struggle we're wage waging. And our cooperation can become a critical factor in winning that war. And that's what we have to try and do. The Iranians, I may just conclude, did not get into such a powerful position without waging this intellectual war in universities, on television, and around the world. So when people of similar sentiments in the Middle East work together and expose what they are doing across our region and suggest a different path, we can actually win that war of ideas that war of ideas. And that's what I hope we do. It's not only going to be a military engagement, a military war. It's a struggle of how people are thinking. And that's where think tanks are pivotal in preserving peace and security. So, uh, Sheikh Abdullah, that's one thing I feel very much in common with you. And I hope, no matter which hat we're wearing, we will wage this struggle successfully. And many more think tanks. Only the good ones. Yeah. Can you show the camera? The agreement to the camera, please? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Your Excellency, just shake hands with Mr. I want to stand up.